Hello there and welcome back. In this video I am going to show you how you can implement the so-called state pattern in an object-oriented manner. So basically this uh, state pattern is uh, very similar if you view it from a distance than a Turing machine. So basically you have a class or an object and you pass it to another class or an object which is a state you want to transition that other class and uh, you have a function which is going to initiate this transition to that uh, other state. So let me show you what I mean by this. We are going to implement, uh, import the abstract method and the ABC meta from the ABC module, we will have a class called internal state, which has the meta class ABC meta and an abstract method called change state. And we will inherit the turn on with the turn on class the internal state we will overwrite this chain state by saying we want to print that turning on the device we will also have the turn off internal state and we will say we are turning off the device and also we will have this radio station which will also inherit from this internal state and we will initialize this radio station with the self state equals none we will need a set state function which is going to set the self path state to the status passed as the second argument. We will have the get state which will simply return the self path state from this class and we will have the Mm, change state function which is going to say that I would like to call the set state dot change state and uh, basically this is it so state pattern dot py and we will have the radio object which is an instance of the radio station we will have this print out the radio's internal state is currently We will have an on, which is an instance of the turn on. We will have an off, which is an instance of the turn off. And we will have a simple demo. So we say that the radio needs to set its state to on. And we will need to change this state. So we just passed uh, an on which is representing the turn on state to that radio and we would like this radio to change its state to the currently passed state. So let's say we print it and say it, say before this that 
Radio. Let's save it. Open a command prompt and see if it's working. Python. State pattern. The radio is in the must it is currently none. Turning on the radio, turning on the device. This is the change state function which was called from the past state class and hooray let's say we would like to turn off the radio off let's save it run it turning off the radio turning off the device and Let's see how we can set this state with a little bit of differently. So we have passed this object. I think I got it. We will return here uh, off and return here and on. And I say that set state was here. Alright. Let's run it again. Radio station has no attribute self. Self that self that state. Ha ha ha. Okay. That was a type. So basically, and uh, what if we would like to? create a volume button that we can turn off, turn to higher volume and lower volume. We could say that we have this class called increase volume <coughs> and decrease volume and decreasing volume by <laughs> that. and increasing volume by ten plus ten minus ten louder in this volume and what is the opposite of loud hmm. I know it's not but I just cannot seem to remember the word and let's say if it's In Increasing the volume louder. Let's save it and run it. Ha ha! It seems to be working. So basically, this is the example I wanted to show you. And uh, if you are watching you can see that uh, I have created a Twitter account and I have also created a Patreon account because uh, I would like you to know that uh, I 
I would like to continue making these videos and uh, every little help counts. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section or write me on Twitter. And thank you for watching. Bye.